Yo, what up, what up? Good evening. Welcome to 2018. This is Big Rosa Guys here, and this is my first Japan vlog of 2018. Now, the year has started off ferociously <laughs> with some crazy things happening so far between Logan Paul and Blackface again wearing its ugly head here in Japan. I still think where it must be in the year 1999 or 2000 or 1980 or wherever the hell blackface was something to be funny no blackface was way back like we go way back way back in like in time with that it was meant to be disrespectful to black people and it wasn't it wasn't used to show appreciation so how come in 2017 2016 and now 2018 people want to use blackface to show appreciation or show respect to us as a people. No, I don't understand it. I really don't get it. And being PC or whatever, that's some bullshit. In no way, shape or form should blackface still be a thing in the year starting with 2000 and anything, right? Nowhere in modern times should this be anything. And you know, why can't costumes signify someone who is black without using their skin? How does the skin bring up more realistically the costume of the person and our cosplay i don't get it right so let's just remember so cosplay you know yeah whatever fine halloween what antoine griezmann the soccer player from real madrid my god what a poor idiot i am not real madrid from atletico madrid was doing a tribute to the harlem globetrotters now he decided to wear the harlem globetrotter jersey Oh my God, I know, there's a name, Harlem Globetrotter. I understand. There was no need for him to take it one level up and get some black skin and blood do the blackface thing. Some cultures have blackface. I think in Holland, there is some festival or something to do with Christmas where they wear the blackface to show a person that used to work in the coal mines or something. I'm not quite sure, but it still can be seen as offensive. But in their country, it was done for some other so nonsense nonsensical reason and they don't care and they say if you don't like it get out of the country which is now the response for persons um so big up to bay bay bye bye me bye is it bay b-a-y-e who um he writes for the japan times and whatever here um he did an interview recently over the past days well, Baye McNeil is a US-born writer and columnist who has lived in Japan for 13 years. He drew attention to the issue on Twitter and joins us via webcam from Yokohama. Thank you very much, Baye, for joining us here on the program. Firstly, um, just tell me what you make of this, uh, this skit. Well, I, I, I agree with you that it was culturally offensive, but I don't think it was necessarily racist. Um, but I think the world is watching, and the world may perceive it as racist or irretrievably ignorant so that's the issue here and it should be he should be coming out soon his his uh article is the number one trending on yahoo japan i think and it made it to the huffington post so please go and check that out support our black brothers and sisters in 2018 we're about securing that bag we're about developing our talents and we're about honing those talents and sharing it with the world and sharing it with people and claiming what is ours and be positive for 2018. That's our motto this year, Gaijin, my fellow, my fellow people who watch me and those who don't and those who hate me. Additionally, change angle here, it's a bit cold. You know, I'm a black man in Japan. Yeah, and oh, this lighting, hey, do I look like somebody? Yeah, big up the globe, big up to the barbers, totally male club spa in jamaica they hooked me up here yeah <laughs> um speaking to the logan paul logan paul and his insensitive issue uh, insensitivity in filming a suicide a, a dead person's body in the suicide forest in tokyo i mean logan paul knows what he was doing he got the attention he got the push he took down the video now, which is a small thing. It doesn't affect him in any way because he got the likes, he got the promotion, and he's getting more subscribers. The thing that, the thing that hurts me about this is that the small YouTubers who do minor things that have nothing to violate the YouTube policies are getting demonetized, are getting strikes and all this. But Logan Paul, you know, using his privilege, I'm not going to say whatever privilege it is, you guys can infer whatever, does something that violates the actual privacy 
the actual community guidelines on this platform and nothing comes out of it. It had to be people, people being upset about the whole hypocrisy, right? But then are people really upset about Logan Paul doing this or are they upset that they didn't think about it first? Because when you think about it seriously from a marketing point of view, you get relevance, you have done something that triggered a reaction and you basically haven't lost anything technically. For some, I mean, it's for the next. He's been doing vlogs for many, many, for every day for like 400, 400 plus days. So I guess it is understandable that you need something to grab more people. I need something to grab people, but I don't get to go out and take out my, and walk naked or go into a forest and film my dead body. That is something serious, right? I'm not going to go into more detail about Logan Paul because that has been clearly exhausted this year. Yeah, yo. Hello. Hi, hi. That's my friend. Um, yeah. So actually, I'm going to come to pay some bills. So for 2018, guys, we're going to see a lot more positive on my channel, a lot more music, a lot more collaborations with um, persons that are in line with what I want to achieve in life. Because this year is about securing the bag, getting your goals up, and being successful in life. And I want it for everybody. All right, so I wish you all the best. And see you soon. Oh, I'm so dark inside. The lighting has changed. Hold on. Yeah, sorry guys, yeah. So for 2018 guys, I want you guys to secure that bag, be successful, develop your talents, develop your skills, hone them, and just be a better person and live well with one another. Help one, teach one. And that's it for 2018. Love you all. Peace. Because guys, you're a YouTuber.